So our conditioning piece, very simple, um, straightforward, 12 minute AMRAP with this one. You're going to do 45 double unders or 90 single skips. The objective is to keep that at a maximum of a minute. So if it's taking you longer than a minute, you need to find a slightly different scaling option. That might be um, penguin claps instead of single skips. It might be line hops instead of penguin claps. Whatever the translation is for you. So if you're working double, double, single, whatever it may be, that's fine, but aim to be working no more than uh, one minute on those double unders because what we're aiming to do in this is get your heart rate up and get you through a number of rounds. So it's a 12 minute AMRAP, you're going to start with 45 double unders, sorry about the noise in the background. We're okay. You're then going to work, uh, work 30 overhead lunge. Now if like me you've got a little bit of a limitation to space then that's fine you're just going to do 30 overhead lunges on the spot. If you've got room to do a walking lunge you're going to go for a walking lunge. It's completely up to you and what, you, what you've got available. Again your object is going to be dependent on what you've got. Rx is going to be 15 and 22 and a half um, for females and males respectively but if you've got anything, anything around that that's fine. What I want you to be conscious of with your overhead lunge is when I've got my arm overhead what I'm not doing is arching my back. One of the key issues we see with this movement and the reason it feels like it's very hard is because people are fighting this. And as soon as I'm fighting that, it feels like I've got no range of motion here and it makes my back arch. Very rarely is it anything to do with how much range you've got on your shoulder. It's about stability at the shoulder. So what I'd like you to do instead is rather than keeping the arm back here, which is a stress position, just keep it slightly ahead of your um, slightly ahead of your head without stressing this too much so I'm pushing that dumbbell up towards the ceiling to keep this stable and then this becomes much more stable than that okay so key tip with that overhead lunge very very rarely is the problem your shoulder mobility it is about stability because if I've lost stability here I'm going to find it somewhere else and all of a sudden that position becomes hell for an overhead lunge. So you tip with these 30 overhead lunges. Obviously don't stick and do 30 on one arm because that's just going to create deficit on one side. Um, you're going to do 15 per side basically. Alternating legs, so we're not just going to work one leg, but just have it slightly forward of the head. So I will say thumb in line with the top of with my head and then I'm going to push that up towards the ceiling like I would with a handstand to create stability here. If I've got any lax through the shoulder or through the elbow, that dumbbell's going to be all over the place. So that's movement two. And then our third movement is toes to bar. So we're going to go for 15 toes to bar. If you haven't got a rig or you don't have anything to do pull-ups or toes to bar, you're going to do a supinated toes to bar on the floor. So dumbbell is going to be resting overhead as you'll lay on your back and you're going to pull the knees into the chest and the toes up to the dumbbell. It's a 12 minute AMRAP, make sure you log one, your score, two, your scales um, or your movement options. Get those logged on Sugarwad and have a fantastic session.